Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude the Wicked Wind Tournament. Yes, it's finally here. The grand finale of the Wicked Wind Tournament. Where we have Rugops, Lillian Sternus and Sejuangasaurus all duking it out for the Wicked Wind crown. And before we go on any further, I have a voting poll will be opened for the next mini tournament. Uh, that voting will close on the 7th. Actually, no, the uh, 14th of May, June. So basically, just before the Euros start. Or well, it's after, I think it's just just when the Euros get started. For those of you that like football, like I do. But anyway, enough jibber-jabbering about that. Here is how this final is going to work, for those of you that are new. I mean, for those of you that have watched my mini-tournaments before, I'm sure you know how it works, but again, for those that are new, I'll explain it real quick. So we're going to have... These three combatants, and they're all going to duke it out against each other. So, at first, we're going to have the Rugops against Lillian Sternus. Then we'll have Sejuangasaurus against Rugops. And then Lillian Sternus against Sejuangasaurus. And then the combatant with the most points will win the tournament. And then the runners up and etc, etc. Um, if it's a two-way tie, so say, for example, it's a two-way tie between these two. I don't, I don't know if it can, actually. Well, see, see if it is. Then whoever won the matchup will be, will finish above the other. If it happens to be a three-way tie, which is um, very little chance of that happening, then we'll just have to redo the matches, won't we? But don't worry, I'm pretty confident that's not going to happen. I'm, I'm pretty confident Rugops is just going to sweep. So well, let's get on with this final. All right, you then. In the red corner, we have the Rugops. The um. I I don't know what to call it, to be honest. The nuclear veined wind dinosaur that's stormed his way to the final. Defeating the um, Dilophosaurus in the first round. Knocking out the Afrovenator in the quarters. And defeating the Ceratosaurus in the semis. In the blue corner, however, we have the Lillian Sterner. One of the surprise packages in this tournament. Defeating the Alpha Allosaurus in the first round. Then getting past the Eustrapta Spondylus in quite a one-sided matchup, before defeating Neovenator in the semis to earn their place in the final. But this will be its toughest fight yet, because this Rugops is mightily good. And yet, Rugops gets the first hit, and it's a stun dash. Slippy slap. Bad. Bad bloody end students. Not much damage dealt though. Ooh, that's a tie. That's exactly what the Rugops want so because it is charged. Well, it's tie defense type. Although it did take some damage in that tie. However, it will not be taking any more damage from a tie because of its tie defense type. Ooh. However, the Lillian Sternus gets off the tornado toss. Ooh, a cyclone as well. Has Lillian Sternus turned the screw here? Well, one hurricane beat will change all that. However, oh, I think the Rugops has died. The Lillian Sternus coming from behind to take a 1 0 lead. So yeah, remember, this will be a best out of three. And the Lillian Sternus has one round one. No way is the Rugops gonna fall. Well, let's get on with round two. Alrighty then, round two. Can Lillian Sterners pull this off? A win here would put it in prime position to win the tournament. Or can the Rugops come back to win? I mean, the Rugops started really well, but then the Lillian Sterners got those two tornado tosses off and turned the screw. Oh. One, and that is a six. The Rugops opening up with the hit. But what it really needs is a crit. Ooh, a crit though is not what it's going to get. Instead, the Lillian Sternus is going to get off a diving press. 
Not much damage dealt though, but there's our Cyclone again. Mm. Oh. Well, nice knowing you, Lillian Sternus, but I think you're dead. Here comes the Hurricane Beat. The heavy hitting Rugoff's gonna deal serious damage here to Lillian Sternus. Yep, the Lillian Sternus. Decimated in a second, and the Rugops showing no mercy there, and even in the score. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Alright then, on to our final round between these two. Who has enough fuel left in the tank to take the three points? Well, it all comes down to this. Whoever wins this matchup will be in prime position to win the tournament. Although, I'm sure Sejuangosaurus will have something to say about that. And yeah, I have Rugops in the first and second match, because I feel like, as I said earlier, I feel like Rugops is just going to win. And if it doesn't, then we'll have the fight, the final clash will be between the two who can win. Well, like in the other two matchups, the Rugops opens up with the first hit. Boosh. Boosh, boosh. Yeah, slippy slap. Not much damage dealt though. But we all saw how devastating that hurricane beat can be, and the Rugops is about to get it back. A cycle no from the Lydian Sternus could help it out. Oh. Well, um, this simply cannot be paper. If this is paper, the Lydian Sternus will lose. Oh, it's scissors! And the Cyclone effect means that Lillian Sternus will get the hit and deny Rugops the all-powerful Hurricane Beat. Ooh, however, Lillian Sternus getting off a crit of his own. Lillian Sternus turning the screw on this match, but do not count out the Rugops though, because as I said many times, that one Hurricane Beat can change everything. Please say I'm recording, yes. Oh, but, however, the Lillian Sterners has won! Well, the surprises keep on happening in this tournament, and Lillian Sterners defeats the Rugops! Which means, if Lillian Sterners can defeat the Sejuangosaurus in its next matchup, it will win the Wicked Win Tournament. Of course, Sejuangosaurus still has yet to play, but it will be in this next match, as it takes on the Rugops! Rugops still in with a shout though, though I feel, yeah, Rugops is still in it. If if it can defeat the Sejuang, and then the Sejuang defeats Lillian Sternus, we'll have to have another match between them all. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen. <laughs> right, let's get on with our next match. Alright then, in the red corner we have the Sejuang of Swords. This purple beast has definitely been... A surprise package in this tournament like the Lillian Sternus, and it has racked up some impressive wins on its journey, defeating the Mega Raptor in the first round, then getting through the Majungasaurus in the quarterfinals, before defeating, who was it now? The Indosuchus in the semis. However, this will probably be his toughest match so far because it is facing a Rugops that needs to win. If Rugops loses here, then it will be out of contention for the Wicked Win Championship. And it will all come down to Lillian Sternus taking on Sejuangosaurus. Wow, two of the weakest wind dinosaurs in this game. Well, in terms of like strength and that. I mean, that doesn't make them the weakest dinosaurs in the game, because obviously they got this far, but you know. In terms of actual raw power, they are the weakest. And well, Lillian Sternus in particular, because I think Sejuang does have more attack. But Lillian Sternus has a lot more technique. And that technique, I think, is, is what's got these two this far. And look at this from the Sejuangosaurus. Dominant start so far, but the Rugops does get off the stun dash. So the Rugops not going down yet. Boosh. Ooh, the Sejuangosaurus taking a bit of a beat in there, but there's our Dino Illusion. That will stop 
the Hurricane Beat coming in, which would certainly finish off the Sejuanosaurus. Ooh, but the Rugops does get the hit, but there's the Dino Illusion to stop the damage. However, the Rugops still has his Hurricane Beat to use, and it will be quite a beatdown if he gets it off. Which he's not getting off so far. Well, Lily and Q ain't gonna make much difference if Rugops gets off Hurricane Beat. However, this Cyclone will tighten the screw for Sejuanosaurus and will pretty much give it the win, I think. Unless Rugops gets a paper, which it doesn't. There's the Cyclone and there's the crit from the Sejuanosaurus in a quite impressive display there, defeating the Rugops. Like, honestly, I'm just not surprised anymore. This thing's just proven to be beastly. Alrighty then, on to round two. Alrighty then, round two, and the Rugop simply has to win. If it falls here, it will come down to Sejuanosaurus and Lillian Sternus for the Wicked Wind Crown. And Rugops will be finishing in third. Wow, the Sejuanosaurus opening up with a hit. And a cyclone! Sejuanosaurus, a purple beast! Oh my goodness, the Rugops! What has happened to you, my friend? The Rugops, impressing in this tournament, is falling apart here in the final, right when it matters most. Ooh, a tie attack there will help the Rugops though, but crit from the Sejuan might secure the win. Ooh, we got so. Don't count him out yet. I think he's heard me. <laughs> it's the right time to turn up. The Dino Illusion there will stop the Rugox from winning with Hurricane Beat should he get it off. Which means the Rugox will need at least two hits to kill the Sejuan. The same as the Sejuan. Well, here comes that hit from the Rugops, but as I said, the Dino Illusion will stop Sejuan from taking any damage. However, it does leave it vulnerable to Hurricane Beat. Ooh, if this is Sejuan, then Rugops is right back in it. Oh, it's not! <laughs> but it will take the tie, because ties do help it. Oh, Sejuanosaurus! Oh, the Rugops! Hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Can the Sejuanosaurus do it? A 2 0 win against the mighty Rugops. Yeah, and he's done it. And the Cyclone as well prevents the Rugops from getting any damage. Off. Just to add insult to injury. Well. Well, I prepared. Sadly for the Rugops, despite an impressive display in this tournament, he will be finishing third. And the winner of this tournament will either be the Sejuanosaurus or Lillian Sturness. I bet no one in their right mind saw that coming. So, this is basically the final. Since Rugops is basically out now, it can't win, it can't come anywhere now, it can only come in third. It all comes down to this. Lillian Sturness versus the Sejuanosaurus. And without further ado, let's begin the final. Well, here we go. As I said, two of the weaker win weakest wind dinosaurs in the game in terms of raw strength and power, but have somehow made it to the final. Okay, in the right corner we have the Lillian Sturness. Both of these combatants wield a cyclone, but which cyclone will be more devastating? Will it be the Lillians or will it be the Sejuans? The Purple Predator here. Proving why he's a Purple Predator. Somehow advance into the finals where I, I tipped it to be knocked out round one. But you know, that's, that's me. Oh, I don't know. Oh wow, Sejuanosaurus is a lot, it looks a lot bigger than the Lillian. No, I'm just think. I'm just thinking now. Sorry, I was just thinking, and because uh, you might see Lillian Sturness in a mod showcase, and maybe I've made it too big. 
Oh well. Enough about that. Back to the final. The Sejuangosaurus opening up with a crit. Ooh, Sejuangosaurus going off another hit. It's a strong start from the Purple Predator. And there's our Cyclone, which I think could determine who wins this match and who finishes second. Yeah, there's a Cyclone. A dominant start from the Sejuangosaurus. Ah, this is not what we want. We, we don't want a one-sided final. We want, like, action, drama, intensity. But it's all coming from the Sejuan so far. And, well, quick as a wink, the Lillian Sterners bites a big one. And Sejuan Asura storms into a 1-0 lead. Well, it was quick, wasn't it? Hopefully, the Lillian Sterners will even the score here. But if not, the Sejuan Asaurus will be winning the Wicked Win Tournament. So, let's get on with round two. Well, it could all end here. If the Lillian Sternus is unable to win this round here, then it will all be over. But hopefully, for the sake of an interesting match, the Lillian Sternus can even score here. Will it even get a hit this match? Well, it, well, it landed some damage, and it, I think it dealt more damage to the Sejuang than, than the Sejuang dealt to it, so... Lillian Sturness, good start here. Here comes a diving press. Yum! But the Dino Illusion has been triggered. We all know how effective that was, or has been for Sejuanosaurus in this tournament, and let's just put it into perspective. If it didn't have the get Dino Illusion off against the Mega Raptor, the Mega Raptor would have won that match. And we'd be looking at a whole different fight. Well, the tornado toss incoming, but Dino Illusion is going to put a stop to it. The Lillian Sternoso definitely turned up, has turned up here. And the Sejuangosaurus, not looking as good as it did in the first round. Oh, another tie. Tides will favour Lillian Sternus now because it does have more health left. Nah, not there. Although I do think the Sejuang is revival type, so if it dies in a tie, it will come back once. Ooh, but Sejuangosaurus gets the hit. How crucial could that be? Ooh, a cyclone. Has Sejuangosaurus just snatched this? Any hit now from the Sejuan will win it for him. Oh, it's a tie! But the Cyclone allows the Sejuanosaurus the hit. Oh, it's killed it! Wow, out of nowhere, from nothing, the Sejuanosaurus has snatched this match and has just won the Wicked Win Tournament. <laughs> What an upset. What an outsider. The outsider, the rogue, the purple predator, the unknown, has somehow come up trumps and won the Wicked Win Tournament. Well, I don't think anybody would have seen that coming. Uh, commiserations to Lillian Sternus. You know, they had a valiant tournament. You know, take nothing away from them. They finished second. You know, look at all, all the gold wind dinosaurs lost in the first match. <laughs> the supposed best dinosaurs all got knocked out in the first round. Carnotaurus to Neovenator, Megaraptor to Sejuang, and well, Allosaurus Atrox, you know, is more lenient because it got knocked out by Majungasaurus. But wow. <laughs> I don't think anyone would have seen that coming. The winner of our Wicked Wind tournament is the Sejuangosaurus. Rugops, kind of disappointed in the final, to be honest. Didn't really turn up. The Lillian Sternus, you know, finished a very respectable second. But, as I said, Sejuangosaurus has reigned supreme. Well, that will conclude the Wicked Wind Tournament. And what a way to conclude it. Our Purple Predator reigning supreme. He had a, t I had a tough journey to get here. Facing two heavy hitters in his first two matches in Mega Raptor and Majungasaurus, before taking on the ro another rogue itself in Indosuchus. But despite all those challenges, despite all those odds, the Sejuangosaurus managed to pull through. And I would probably say the biggest reason why Sejuang won this tournament 
Dino Illusion. It got off Dino Illusion right when it needed to. And if you need any proof of that, just watch this match by you. Because there was, there was a point with Sejuangosaurus. There was two points with Sejuangosaurus. Was on red health. And it had Dino Illusion. And Mega Raptor got off hits. Let's say, if it didn't have Dino Illusion. Mega Raptor would have won this matchup. Would have won this matchup. And have gone through. And we'd be looking at a completely different tournament. <laughs> that just goes to show how powerful Dino Illusion is. And. We will be seeing this guy again. In my main tournament whenever it happens. Well actually we might. If, if it happens in August then yeah we will see it. We will see it again. If it, if it doesn't then we might not see it again. But yes we will see Sejuangosaurus take to the field again. But until then that is it for the Wicked Win tournament. So a big round of applause for all of our combatants who tried and failed. And if you enjoyed this tournament please leave a like and subscribe for more tournaments in the future. And if you want, and if you want your say on what the next mini tournament should be, feel free to vote down below in the voting poll thingy, which I link in the description or wherever I link it. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.